you guys understand like reasoning, right? Like reasoning is a thing that a lot of people think that you do alone. But really, reasoning is, is generally thought of as a group project, right? So we all get together, we come up with a good idea, and then we find a result. Prego cravings? I feel like a prego craving would be like, I don't know, craving combat or something. Because I, I clearly that's what Jade does. I don't get it, but that's what she does. Honestly, man, I haven't heard anybody try to, like, I haven't heard anybody with a convincing argument, by the way, for why Jade needs to be pregnant after she's already had the baby. Why does she need to be pregnant? I don't get that. I'm not anti-children or whatever, like somebody might say, but it's weird that somebody is pregnant in the game and then they go into combat. It doesn't make any sense because as soon as she gave birth, she atomized. Yeah, as soon as she gave birth, not before she gave birth, her imprint blueprint was designed while she was pregnant, I guess. But for us, it doesn't really have. But, but like, but why? Like, I I know I know what you guys are saying. Yeah, but I, I regardless, like, you can't convince me that it makes sense uh, from the writers. Like, I, I just don't understand why why that's even a thing. Like, what does it do? What purpose does it serve? So you can use two auras. I mean, I guess eternalism means she. Ought, Wait, she always she was always and never preggers. It does not make sense. Or probably be a toggle at some point for it. Or skins that remove it. Uh, I I just don't understand. Like, what is what is the intent? Okay, like what is what is the theme? You're telling me a bunch of people at DE got into a room for the next new Warframe, and they said, you know what? When we play, when like when we have our players play the game, our intended experience is to have them play a pregnant character. Are you telling me that's what they did? And like, there's nothing wrong with that? It's just weird, man. It's so weird. It's It borderline sounds like the only reason it's theirs because somebody has a fetish. Like, I don't know. Like, you couldn't tell me there was an actual, like, a narrative purpose for it, right? There is a frame for everyone, you know? I mean, yeah, that's true. But it's like, then she goes into combat, right? It doesn't matter if you're a Warframe, right? Wouldn't you want to protect your baby by not actively going in your orbiter and seeking out the nav screen than going into a, a, a harmful environment? The child would be the majority story point. I, I don't, I don't mind there being a child in the story. I think it's cool. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I like that Stalker's a father. I think the whole quest was sick. I enjoyed it a lot. I just don't know why she has to be fighting the corpus with a baby. It's wild, man. That's what I don't get. If you saw the story, they were both human before they became frames. At that point, she was pregnant before the mutation happened and became Jade. I, I understand, like, I understand what the narrative says. I understand what the story is. I just, I did. I just, I just don't understand, it. like, why, like, why? Why couldn't it have been Stalker, Jade, and then she had just had a baby... And then the baby was also turned into a Warframe. Like, that would have been something crazy. I, I don't know. But instead, they were like, oh, baby in the Warframe. Right? Like, it's... I don't know. I don't know. She's in the postpartum body, not currently carrying? She has to be currently carrying. Because she gets two auras. Brother, she was made a Warframe because she got preggers as punishment. She would never be able to give birth. But she spent thousands of years sending 100% of her energy to the child in order to birth. I'm not, I'm not really convinced that the infestation would recognize Jade as like two separate beings. I almost feel like they should have been morphed to, together, but like not, not in the way that we got. Like, I, I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's a story they made up to justify putting a pregnant frame in the game. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying there's no narrative, there's no narrative logic. What I'm saying is somebody had to think about this write it down okay you know what i think i think they did the reverse and they were like let's put a pregnant frame in the game wouldn't that be cool it's stalker's thing like a uh, wife girlfriend whatever significant other whatever and then they like backtrack they're like how are we gonna work this into the story like i i think it's i think it's backwards is what i'm saying and it feels a little shoehorned pretty sure it's to appeal to caregiving personalities dude listen Sometimes, like, I want to be a caregiver, but it's impossible for me to get pregnant. I can't relate to that. I don't know what you're talking about. How about I play a healer? You know, like, <laughs> how, about, how about I play support? You know, 
I, I understand like the potential logic, but I don't think it's gonna add up, you know? You underestimate how many women work at DE? Well, like, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you would think that, like, you would... The whole thing is made up, though. Honestly, the reasoning for fine... Wait, for... Is fine for the pregnant frame? I, I just... I don't know. I, I just don't see the purpose. Like, honestly, the, the biggest thing that I can't get behind, to be honest, the biggest thing I can't get behind is the fact that they take the baby into combat. That's what's confusing to me. Like, the, the idea that Jade is, like, an actively used Warframe controlled by the Operator, and the Operator's like, yeah, they're a baby in that, let me use that in the fight, and let me use that to, like, have an extra aura slot. I think that's just strange. That's all. I, I just don't think it fits. I, I don't know. Like, I, I, it just doesn't, it just doesn't add up to me, like, in, in terms of reasoning. There's no purpose for any of the ways that the frames look. Why do they have their armor and their junk? I mean, I agree with you with that, cows. I agree. Exactly. No, no, cows. You're onto something. You're actually onto something. No, you're right. Why, why does, okay, okay, why does Sevagoth Prime look like a pimp? And, and then why does Ember Prime look like he works for Sevagoth Prime? Like, I don't understand. Like, how are those things not changed differently? Like, when they were affected by the infestation, right? We are war crime teens? What? Jade plays on my beer belly spirit? <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess. I guess. Tenor are not the good guys? I mean, that's true, but... I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. But you're right, cows. Like, why, why does it, why does, uh, what's his name? Hold on. Let me, let me pull him up. What was, what was the frame? I can't think of it. But like the massive, it's like they got the massive thing going on. Let me, let me hold on. Let me see. I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't mind the way that Nidus looks. I don't, I don't mind the way that most of the, the, uh, the frames look. It's just, yeah. I mean, why do some of them, Excalibur makes sense. Like he's wearing a suit. Ember makes sense. Warframes being hot is partially due to the Oricon's vein and obsession with beauty, I think, but ultimately it's just something you have to suspend your disbelief for. See, I don't mind that. I honestly don't mind that at all because I can kind of do that. Like, I can kind of work that into the lore, sure. But still, I know this is a skin, but is it? Biomechanical, it's because they're mutated people. Ballas even mentions exquisite anatomy in Protea Prime's trailer. Yeah, I mean, that makes more sense, right? That actually does make more sense. That does. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. I just, I don't, I don't know, dude. I, I just think it would have been nice if the frame wasn't pregnant. That's all. I just think it's weird. Like, I, I know, I obviously, like, most of us have met somebody who's been pregnant at one point or another, right? And these people are generally kind of paranoid because it's, it's what, it, it's what their, their instincts tell them to be, right? It's like they worry about going down some stairs or walking on, ice or a slippery surface or you know just doing something that's not great like straining yourself and then it's like okay let's just take this this thing that's supposed to represent like motherly wholesomeness and let's make it go kill people and put the baby actively in danger that's what i don't get it's why she heals her team and destroys the entire room of enemies but like why leave the orbit like why put yourself in that position right like, just because you can shoot a gun doesn't mean you should run out looking for combat. And I wish Necros didn't have a bulge and the infested are just kinky like that. Yeah. It would make more sense for us to play a stalker? It would. Yeah, it actually would. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, in, in the game, you play stalker, or in the quest, you play stalker, and you have to go out because Jade's not, like, she's not well, right? I just, I feel like she should be like that for some time until the baby's out. And then it's like, go hit the combat. Cause like you're constantly putting yourself at risk, you know, a liger skin. That's actually what's the point though. To be fair, her punishment was to be forced to use Jade Light to kill people and use her baby as a source of power. Like, I, again, like I, I understand that there's a narrative, a narrative like reasoning or I'll say excuse for it. Cause it feels like it's backtrack, sure. But I just feel like it doesn't like, it, it, it still doesn't make it feel different right she didn't she was laying down for a thousand years and didn't leave the orbiter basically i mean i can make her leave the orbiter right now though that's what i'm saying yeah that's what i'm like i i don't know like it i'm just thinking thematically man like leave the baby in the orbiter if you leave like jade is no longer preggers that version cannot give birth I mean, I guess it's not the prime, sure. Like, again, like, I understand. Like, I understand, like, there's answers for all of it. I'm just saying I don't like it. That's really what it is. I, like, that's that's just what I'm saying. I just don't like it. I just don't like the fact that you take a pregnant character into combat. Like, it just, it actually just doesn't make sense. It's, it's one thing I just cannot suspend my disbelief for. I can't do it. 
It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. It just it just don't. You know? Just uh, I just never did the quest and Laura doesn't exist. I did it. I'm not at that part of the story yet. The, the quest is actually really good. I like the quest a lot. I do. It's a good quest. I'm not going to talk about it anymore if you haven't done it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for you. Hell no. Did you read the lore about Jade in Teshin's room in Relays? No, I didn't. Just a ball of energy and no danger. Like, mommies would go... Would for real go to war for their babies? They would, but not with the baby in them. Like, I, under, I understand that there's not, like, actually a baby. In, but I, I just don't understand, like, why does she gotta be... If there's not a baby in the frame that we have, then why does she get two aura slots? That's what I'm saying. The real Jade managed to birth the baby afterwards. We recreate her and any sentience remains. She would know she was successful. I guess. Reanimations of holding her belly could just be her remembering her past self. No. Yeah, I understand, Darth, that, like, there's, like, a bunch of writing that you could, like, throw in to say it makes sense. I, I just, I don't know, man. I just don't, I just don't think it was necessary. I, I don't. That's it. That's all it is. That's it. Like, I, I just, that, I, I understand. I understand that there's a lot of things that you could say to, like, make it make sense in the story. But, like, what I'm saying is, I don't care. I don't think the whole thing doesn't make sense. Not just the little stuff, right? The whole thing. Because I think it comes from, like, one idea, and then they backfilled it with a bunch of reasonings to make it happen, is what I'm saying. Like, that was the big thing. They were like, oh my god, the new frame's pregnant. Like, that's the cool thing. It's like, you know what? You know what I don't care about? That. You know what I care about more? Uh, Sevagoth looks like a pimp, and that's kind of funny. I don't think that makes sense either, but that's just funny to me. You know? Like, but like, I don't know, like, a, a, a pregnant frame going into combat ain't that funny. It's just weird. The only reason you can play a stalker on the circuit is because he allows you and it's not technically our stalker, it's a different version. Jade in this case is a blueprint and has no sentience. That's what makes frames unique. They let their intrusive thoughts win and get some goofy odd uh, content. I mean that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He played Bloodborne, got it.